To write the name for K3N, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound here. That's because potassium is a metal and nitrogen is a nonmetal. A metal and a nonmetal, that gives us an ionic compound. Specifically, this is a binary ionic compound. That's because we have two different elements in the compound. So because it's a binary ionic compound, we can use these rules here to write the name. First off, we're going to write the name of the metal. That's the potassium, just as it appears on the periodic table. So K potassium. And then we can write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table again, but we use a small n. So we have our nitrogen here, and we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So the OGEN is gone. We replace that with IDE. So the name for K3N is potassium nitride. If you're given the name and asked to write the formula, potassium has a 1 plus ionic charge, each one of these three potassiums. The nitrogen, when it forms this nitride ion, it bonds, it has a 3 minus ionic charge. So you can see why we need 3 of the 1 plus to balance out the 3 minus. This is Dr. B with the name for K3N, potassium nitride. Thanks for watching.